Hello, my beautiful crossers, how you doing? Today, I have a very, very special Happy Home Paradise vacation home to build. And it is that of this man, Thomas Nookington. Yes, we're gonna give him a vacation home or a vacation mansion, rather, of his dreams. There used to be a ton of discourse around what kind of person or tanuki that Tom Nook is. To me, Tom Nook is the personification of everything that is wrong with this society. You may even say that he is the most realistic villain in all of video game history, a capitalist. Some people go as far as to call him a landlord, which I must remind them that you are paying a mortgage on your own home, but like housing should be a human right anyways, right? And sure, people will defend him and say he adopted the twins, yada, yada, yada. My little game theory is that he adopted the twins to force them to work in his store while he's away. And what is he doing while he's away? He's uh, forcing people into debt. He is um, exploiting your labor and exploiting the natural resources of the island. I mean, come on. But it's really not that deep. I just wanted to give Tom Nook a vacation home that really represents him. I imagine that it is a place where he stores all of his riches and where he has his offshore accounts, like the good little capitalist that he is. But before we get into it, I just wanted to remind you that I do have my merch collab with Jesse Hanna Art still available on my website. Everything is inspired by my cat who was sitting here not too long ago and then I was too loud and he wanted to leave. There's a bunch of cool stuff that is available. We have the Tiny Crossing dad hat as well as the bucket hat variation, a Tiny Crossing pin, and of course a List the Last art print. So if you're interested, if you wanna be an official List pillar feel free to check it out on my website but without further ado let me open up happy home paradise okay I figured that we would start with the exterior and just kind of knock it out real quick I picked a very luxurious lot for Tom Nook to live on I just figured that he would spare no expense and want nothing but the best so I'm assuming that he wants just like a ginormo crib oh I don't think he would have a log cabin exterior hmm. I think he would have a very fancy door right yes a very fancy door this is like the ugliest house ever wait hold on <laughs> okay don't you think this looks like really elegant and luxurious and then we'll kind of like go in on the gold more on the inside because when i try to do like a all yellow house it it looks a little tacky <laughs> okay we could do the nook ink door plate or we could do a golden wreath personally i think the nook ink door plate works and is cute. Okay, the exterior should be easy. I'm not gonna do anything super complicated. Besides, I was thinking, you know, he would probably enjoy a big fountain or something, something like super luxurious. <laughs> okay, there's these gold nugget mining carts and I think that it would be so great to have them stored on the side of the house. Like he just has so much gold, he doesn't know what to do with it. My gold, mind you. Okay, we have a big fountain here in the center. I think this is so fitting. And then we've gotta have like some cute bed Benches right next to it. Some fancy benches, excuse me, not cute. We're going fancy. Okay, benches down. The, I don't know about the color. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Definitely money tree. Oh, <gasps> money tree. Absolutely. freaking lootly I wish there was like a golden flower bush or something. We'll just go white bush because it's classy. I hate that everything is like slightly off center. I am not going to fix it though. I really am not. I think he would totally have big expensive statues. <laughs> sure, yeah, you know what? That looks good to me. I think he would totally have a big statue of this um, beautiful man and right in front of the bench too so he can um, look at it. He can admire his riches amongst other things. Oh, Tom Nook would totally have a plot of golden roses here. You are stunning. And I'm sorry, we're gonna move this nice and kind gentleman over here maybe. And to just fill out this space back here, I'm gonna add more gold. So I spent quite a fair amount of time on the exterior here. Let me give you a grand tour. So first thing is first, we have our armed guard here just to you know keep an eye on the property grounds make sure everything's cool and safe and no poor people are coming in that would be the worst of course we have a beautiful golden rose field um equipped with all of these lovely gorgeous statues for scenery purposes there's money everywhere the golden carts back there to um hide the excess and then i had this gold altar thing and i was like i have to put a little money bag on it so i did and yeah everything is just uh looking spiffy. I think I did pretty good on the exterior here. Now for the inside. I did give him an upstairs and a downstairs. So I think what we're going to do is the downstairs first. This is 
far too small way too small. This is meant to be a big office. So we're gonna go super big. Now for the wallpaper and flooring, you already know, we've gotta go all gold. That or we can go like super regal with it. So like maybe this white European style wall, it does match his outfit. Okay, here's the plan. What if we did something really, really nice and super fancy in the downstairs and then upstairs we went all gold? That seems like a pretty good plan to me. This house is gonna have multiple safes. Saves? Safes? No. S yeah. You know, he has to have a place for all the money. The money that um, I worked very hard to make. I hate this desk, it's so ugly. But it's like literally the best option that I have. Mm -hmm. It'll just, it'll be a statement piece. Do not fret, I have thought about where I'm going to put the twins because I do imagine that he lives with them. Don't know if I can give him a basement, but um, it is possible that I can do something cool with the upstairs. Does this look dumb? <laughs> it kinda looks a little dumb, don't you think? <laughs> okay, wait, what if we do some things like this instead? We'll do a little couch corner, a corner for the couches. I'm totally gonna give him the throne. <laughs> yes, absolutely, that is his office chair. <laughs> Golden piggy bank? You're joking. You're going right on top of the safe. Piles of cash. Instead of having anything like for work on the desk, I think we're just gonna have a giant pile of money. And that's because, you know, once you get that rich, the money just makes itself. You don't really have to work. And that's just, you know, an unfortunate truth. You know, I just had a thought, not enough fountains. Is your office even fancy if you don't have a fountain? We have two fountains, a total display of opulence. So I have like a bunch of cool stuff everywhere, except I don't love this corner. That's because that stupid, ugly little table. It's only ugly because it doesn't match in here. It reminds me of my grandma's house with the doilies. Oh, perfect. This is a good one. <gasps> yes, with a gold rate. I actually love that for that corner <gasps> so much prettier god bless you oh my god i didn't realize how like completely fancy this room was until i just looked at it now what do i do with this corner i have that dresser thing because i saw it in my catalog and i was like mm, yeah you're pretty fancy what if we just made it a dresser corner i don't know you know when you're so rich that you just have things to display things in who can relate <laughs> I just don't want to think about it too hard. Like, oh, uh, that's fine. Okay, I'm all done. I added a bunch of stuff to the walls, like just art things and the Happy Home Paradise stuff. With this wall, it's like a little bit harder to add things just because it's uh, mostly comprised of windows and curtains. But I did what I could. And I mean, the big chandelier. Is that not made for this room? I think it is. As far as everything else goes, um, everything's gold, baby. And I think this is a, a brilliant, amazing place to conduct all of his business. He puts on a front when he's at the island, right? He's like, I'm just a regular guy. Look at our office. You know, it's just nice and it's humble. But this this is where the real business happens. The real fun, I think, is gonna be in the bedroom. I wanna somehow fit a bed, a bath, cause we gotta use the golden toilet, duh, and a place for Timmy and Tommy. It's a lot, it's a lot that I wanna do, but you know, I am dedicated. Just the same way that Tom Nook is dedicated to making money. I believe if I wanna fit everything, I gotta go with the biggest room. Which I know sounds insane, but I have big plans. What if we did hear me out hear me out this wall and behind it is where the nooklings stay <laughs> and then the bathroom can just be a part of the bedroom okay animal crossing i need the biggest bed you got oh should we do a red up here that seems saucy let's do it i think we've got to do the round table as side tables unless it's really ugly hold on the thing that really sucks is you can't put stuff on partition walls so is there something i can put back there that's like tall and fun and small meter and pipes like what is that oh that just looks plain silly no gears golden gears. Ugh, that's stupid. What a bummer. I hate, 
hate, hate. If I can complain for a moment, I know I'm a complainer. I hate that you can't put stuff on partition walls. It's stupid. Okay, so what are we gonna do instead? We gotta have like a really fancy fun wall to kind of help us like fill it out a bit. I love the pirate flooring because it looks like he's sleeping in his money. Here's the other option. Gold iron parquet flooring. Mm, kind of a snooze fest. No, there's like literally no other option. It's pirate flooring or bust. Okay, so here's a here's a choice. We could just do the gold wall. Like it's better than the plane for the partition wall, right? It's better than plane. Here's another option. The gold screen wall. Lastly, we have this stately wall. The stately wall really brightens it up in here but I think we should go with dim lighting anyways and I feel like the golden wall is just like so ridiculous now you might have noticed that I did put in a dungeon wall back there and of course that is where the twins are gonna sleep <laughs> don't you think that's just like so perfect <laughs> now here's an idea to help spice up that wall is to add the wedding arch it feels like Fancy, I don't know. I think we could totally get away with doing that. So let's try it. Gold bars right by the bed. You know how people put like crystals in certain spots for the energy? That's exactly what Tom Nook's doing with his gold bars. They're for the energy. Okay, most important part, golden toilet. I don't like love the idea of a screen in the middle of the room and I don't wanna like close everything off, you know? A rich person would absolutely be totally chilling with having a bath in the middle of the room. Kinda like jacuzzi hotel room style. Does anyone else think this room just like oozes sex appeal? <laughs> no, I don't wanna think about that. Okay, so like imagine this being a bath corner. We have a little console table so we could put some bath stuff on it. A little screen back there so it's implied that you could like take it out maybe for privacy. And of course the tub, just kind of like right there in the middle of the room, like we said, jacuzzi style. Is there a little stack of towels? I know there's like that little towel basket, but that's not what I want. So maybe instead of using towels, what he does is he uses money. That's how he dries himself off with money and i'm just gonna add his toilet right there because i think it kind of fits okay enough of this boring bedroom stuff let's get into timmy and tommy's little dungeon i do imagine that the twins have bunk beds and the sheets are newspapers <laughs> oh my god this is just cruel i love it okay i also decided that i gotta make the prison part a little bit smaller there was too much room to work with i just couldn't figure it out but also it makes tom's room quite a bit bigger so this is what I did. I added a little shower to the wall. Um, of course, a bucket, you know, for anything. They need a bed, of course, a bunk bed, and um, a little bit of a light. Now I feel horrible um, putting them under these circumstances, but when I get their amiibos, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build them a vacation home for them to escape to. Duh. I, we're trying to make a narrative here. It's a started from the bottom type of story. They might need something to eat. Hmm, we'll give them a little snack and maybe something to do, like a little activity. Book. They get to read. So this is where I imagine Timmy and Tommy to go after a hard day's work. This is their home. I'm not here to make Tom Nook look like a good guy. He's evil and the world needs to know. Okay, I added a bunch of stuff to the walls. I think this room needs a chandelier as well. And um, <coughs> a hanging light bulb for the Nooklings. Oh, maybe instead of the arch, what I can do, I see people do this to kind of cover up the partition walls at this drapery. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Never mind. hold on. Let's get rid of this silly little arch. That's okay. You know what? The room is full enough and I think it's done. So as you walk in, you see immediately to your left the very open concept bathroom and a multi-purpose stack of cash that is used not only to dry yourself off after a bath, but um, after using the toilet. Isn't that perfect? I totally imagine Tom Nook wipes his ass with hundred dollar bills. My hundred dollar bills and then uh, this section's a little bit boring it's just a uh, little 
a closet yada 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 who cares um the bed very fancy of course the gold bars for the energy of the room and then back here this is uh where the nooklings go every day for things in the dungeon i'm gonna be on the hunt for their amiibo cards because this is unacceptable but i think it says a lot about our society it represents what we do to the working class aka the nooklings justice for the nooklings you Unionize the nooklings. Oh, what's the theme of this vacation home? How about Nookington Palace? It's not even a mansion anymore. It's a whole castle. Wow. Okay. That's it. That's the pick. Awesome. Oh, he's a model. You know, for being such a bad guy, he is just so dang cute. I would call that a great success. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget about merch and don't forget to come and check us out on Twitch. I stream Animal Crossing there. Um, I'm playing Omori right now. And of course we do Stardew every Friday. What else? Um, I guess all I gotta say is I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so. And I will see you in the next one.